So good morning, guys. Um, para to sa ES10 natin. So yeah, what is ES10? So um, for those engineering students, na meron nito, ang description nito is that uh, mechanics of rigid bodies. So yan yung ES10. So course description. Um, fundamental principles of mechanics and their applications to simple engineering problems involving static and dynamic systems. So, kung ganyan yung ano nyo, then you better stay tuned. Right? Kasi ito yung first episode natin. <laughs> so, yun. Yung outline natin. dumay duma ang trike. So, yung outline natin. Introduction to mechanics. Static statics of particles, equivalent system of forces, equilibrium of rigid bodies, distributed force, centroid, centroids, and center of gravity, analysis of the structures, forces and beams and cables, friction, distributed forces of moments of inertia, particle kinematics, particle kinetics, energy and momentum, systems of particles, rigid bodies, kinematics, plane motion, energy and momentum, mechanical vibrations. So, kung nabanggit ko yung kung nabanggit ko yung um, gusto nyo malaman, then you better stay tuned to this one, okay? So, start na tayo. So, wait! Sulat mo natin para may char factor, guys. Char. Parang gano'n, diba? So ES10. So welcome. This is um mechanics of rigid bodies. Bodies. Yon. So umpisahan na natin. So first um ide discuss ko muna kung ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin ng mechanics. Kasi, hindi ka, um, not all of our professors are like yung sa exam natin na uh, problems ng lahat. May iba kasing na uh, professors na may part ng exam na definition, no, mga terms and stuff. Parang ganun. So, like, let's play it safe, guys. And also, para hindi naman tayo makikilala as like mga tao na numbers lang yung alam tapos kapag inas na ko ano yun wala natin masasagot so yeah too much stuff right so mechanics so when we talk about mechanics um, it is the science sulat ko pa bar sabihin ko na lang. science uh, that describes and predicts <coughs> the condition of rest or motion of bodies under the action of forces. So, nakabold yung rest motion. So, mechanics is a science that describes the, and predicts the condition of rest or motion of bodies under the action of forces. So, ano nga ba yung forces? Well, forces, um, it can be mechanics of rigid bodies. Ito. Um, Ito yung ES10. Or it can be mechanics of deformable bodies or mechanics of fluids. So, ganun. And so, yung mechanics din, guys, may branches dun yan. Alam nyo naman to yung two branches, diba? Kung engineering kayo. Kung engineering student kayo. So, first is the statics and the dynamics. So, when we talk about statics, yun yung nag-arrest lang siya. Yung dynamics, yung may, mo may galaw siya. So, uh, kaya yung, sta uh, yung sa mechanics, meron siyang statics at dynamics. So, na, diretso na tayo sa mga sample problems natin. Four minutes. So, yeah. Arisa natin to. So, ito yung yes ton, guys. Um, description niya, it's mechanics of rigid bodies. So, ito yung definition ng mechanics. 
So, sa forces din, um, merong mechanics of rigid bodies, merong mechanics of deformable bodies, and mechanics of fluids. And also, mechanics may dalawa siyang branches, which are the um, statics and dynamics. So, hulu. Sure lang. Six. So number one, guys. Uh, I guess it's anim to eh. Two, three, four, And yes, natapos natin yung sulat ang um, six fundamental principles ng um, <laughs> Wait, asan yung copy ko? Six uh, fundamental principles ng ES10 <laughs> Malamang So, yeah, first uh, Sulat nyo to kasi like baka lalabas to sa exams nyo so, the first is a parallelogram law of addition of forces. Um, the second one is that the principle of trans transmissibility. Um, the third, fourth, and fifth one are the Newton's first, second, third, and uh, first, second, and third law of motions, which are um, the law of inertia, law of acceleration, and law of um, action reaction. And the last one is um, Newton's law of gravitation. So, Unahin na natin yung parallelogram law of addition. So, erase na natin to. Oh, hira. Sinulat ko pa talaga, no? Give me a minute or two. There is this one. 